you can verify it and you're not making any, um, and you're following algebra rules, then you're fine. Um, but the way I want to show you, uh, you know, for this one is just kind of my thinking process that I'm going to take you through. Um, automatically, we look at this and we always want to say, oh, you know, that's part of a trig identity, right? Because we should know that cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equals 1. Well, unfortunately, cosine squared of x minus sine of x doesn't really equal a negative 1 or a 0 or anything like that. But what we can do is, if I'm looking at this, remember one thing I told you guys to do is always try to see which is your most complicated side. Just pick a side and then try to, you know, try to make it look like the other side so you can verify that um, your equation is accurately equal. Well, if I take a look at this side and say, if I want to make it look like this, that means I need to convert this cosine to something else, correct? Or I'm sorry, I need to convert this sine to a cosine, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. If I wanted to make this side look like the right side, the right side doesn't have a sine. So that means I'd have to convert it to a cosine. So what I could do is I could say, well, what does sine equal? Well, by solving for sine, I could say sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine squared of x. Okay, so now if I was going to evaluate and plug that in for sine squared, I'd get cosine squared of x minus 1 minus cosine squared of x. Distribute my negative sign. All I did was instead of writing sine squared of x, I plugged in 1 minus cosine squared of x because when I solve. The same thing. Right, exactly. So I solve that in, distribute my, ne my uh, negative sign. And what you get is cosine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. And you guys can see that that's going to equal the exact same over here. You guys follow me? Yeah. It's really, guys, it's just about trying things. All right? I don't expect you to look at this and be like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. It's really about, um, hmm. Let me just try to do one side and try to work on it and then see where I get. If it doesn't get you anywhere, try working the other side or try a different method, okay? But I don't expect you to automatically vision and just say, oh, I can do this one, I got it. But you're gonna, you're just gonna have to try working through things and then you'll eventually um, find it out, okay? So if I was trying to do 